I'm David McPherson. I'm the incoming artistic director for Story Theater. Story Theater started off as a workshop in libraries, and what they did was share traditional stories and then talk about the stories. And there were actually some teachers here in Victoria who saw the workshop and said, you know, that would work really well in schools. And so the workshop was adapted to go into schools, and over time it evolved into um, presenting full on productions of the traditional stories. Uh, we're curriculum based, so uh, we work using sort of the most contemporary curriculum relation we can. Recently we've been adding some new things like the American Sign Language we are introducing into the, the style. We've been doing workshops in some of the classes teaching the kids how we sign our nursery rhymes and so we taught them all of the signs for Little Miss Muffet and afterwards after we had taught them about how the spider sits beside Miss Muffet they were able to use those signs and say to their friends hey come sit beside me and you see that using the signs, it becomes a part of their daily life and it brings this atmosphere of inclusion to the company. Oh. Oh, smell oh, delicious! <sighs> I think the way that story theatre engages with the children in the schools is really different from a lot of theatre groups because it is so bare bones with just our set behind us and our t-shirts and not a lot of props, we really have to interact and connect with the students. What it's doing is it's introducing kids to theater for the very first time. The children who see these shows, this may be the first time they've ever experienced live theater. Um, and the opportunity, uh, the privilege to get to be there as a performer and show them that world, bring them into a world that I love, that we all love here. Um, it's, it's really incredible um, to be the person that perhaps excites and, and, and ignites a love of theatre in these kids um, is a tremendous privilege. So this season, Story Theatre is once again touring with two separate shows. Returning to the tour will be Anansi's Gift of Stories, the trickster tale by Nancy bringing stories to the world. And our new script is Rhymes, Reason and Rascals. And it is a story that features wisdom as a treasure. So Genghis Khan is ruling his empire and he becomes rich and powerful, uh, but he needs to learn to be a wise ruler. So he sends out his knights and they bring back three tales. Uh, a tale from Socrates, a tale from King Solomon, and a tale uh, of Eastern European origin. Um, they deal with uh, go gossip and having people dealing with gossip. They deal with how we value things and what's truly valuable. They deal with also the, the value of a story and, and how a story can be a living legacy uh, that goes on well past Genghis's rule so that we still know about him and hear tales about him. Lots of fun, lots of variety, and uh, has a little bit of something for everybody.